Hi, and a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. All this week we're doing a series of dips, and you can't do a dip series without the famous guacamole. After all, it goes back to the Aztecs, and it's one of my favorite dips, and I've had a lot of requests for it. So let's get on and make this wonderful guacamole. Now I normally set out my ingredients here to show you and I've just thrown these on the table. I thought they look really nice. I'm just going to film away as they are. I've got some scallions or spring onions here. Uh, I picked some fresh jalapeno peppers from the garden. I'm going to be using a little bit of garlic. I am using tomatoes. A lot of people say not to use tomatoes in a guacamole, but I'm going to use these. These are the Roma tomatoes with less seeds and less moisture in them. Now you cannot have guacamole without avocado. Now I couldn't get any hass. I've got these little shepherd's one. The great things about these is they've got a very small seed and a lot of flesh inside them. I'm of course going to be putting a little bit of lime juice in there. That stops the avocado from going brown. And of course the aromatic cilantro or coriander as we call it. I love this herb. Now I'm going to dig my knife out from under here and we get started. I'm going to start with these delightful little avocados. I'm just going to cut them through the center. And then we just give them a little twist. There's the seed inside. A little chop in there and pull the seed out of the middle. And then all we're just going to do is take a spoon and scoop the flesh out of the avocado straight into our bowl. Now I'm taking three small shepherd avocados. Uh, one large hass would probably do for this. And whilst my avocados are small, my lime is huge. I'm just going to take half of this lime here. I'm then just going to squeeze the juice over the avocado itself and that will stop it from going brown. And now I'm going to season that with some rock salt. It does want a fair bit of salt to draw all the flavors out. A little bit of black pepper in there as well. Then I'm just going to take a fork and mash this avocado up. Now we don't want to mash that up to a smooth paste. I want to leave a lot of the texture in the guacamole. But look at that beautiful color. It would almost make a great dip just as it is. And next we're going to take our spring onions and we're just going to dice them finely. And then I'm just going to add those into the guacamole. Now I've got a couple of jalapeno peppers. These ones are particularly hot, so I'm probably just going to use one small one. Uh, cut the top off. I will cut it down the middle and just remove the seeds out from the center. And then we're just going to slice these up into strips and finally dice up the chili. And that as well goes into the guacamole. And I've got a clove of garlic here, which I'm just going to flatten with my knife and then finely chop up. Of course, you could use a garlic crusher. I don't tend to use them. And then we're going to take that diced up garlic and pop that in there as well. And then the Roma tomato. Now, as I say, with the Romas, you get a lot less juice and seeds inside. But if you're worried about your guacamole going wet, you can always take the seeds out. I'm just going to slice these into strips. And then I'm going to dice these tomatoes up into little tiny cubes. Now I've only used half a Roma tomato there, and I do respect those that don't like to use tomato in their guacamole. Please feel free to leave it out. I just happen to like it in there. I'm gonna pop these little diced up tomatoes in. Now I don't like to skimp on the cilantro or the coriander. I've got a nice big bunch here, which I'm gonna finely chop up. And then we take that cilantro or coriander, pop that in with our guacamole mix. And now you can see the beautiful colors of the guacamole before I start to stir this through. We're just going to take a fork now and mix that all together. And that now is ready to go into a serving dish. So I'm going to pop that into one of those dip dishes from my earlier hummus series. Now there is that guacamole. I put a little coriander or cilantro on the top there. That is a delicious dip. You really can't get away from it. I've tasted that as it's gone along, so I know the seasoning is right. And I'm gonna try this now with a Dorito. Here goes down the hatch. Mm. I love guacamole. That is absolutely delicious. One of my favorite dips, to be honest. Uh, please share the love. Give this one a thumbs up. I hope you're enjoying the little series of dips. Keep your eye out because there's more coming through the week. Be good. I'll see you next time. 
My, those pesky Aztecs were good at making dips. That is absolutely delicious. Look, there's a few links here to some other videos. I'll probably put the playlist for the dips as well if you want to get across, if you've missed any. Uh, I love to hear your comments. Be good as always. Take care.